Hello, welcome to the area's most accurate educational fun forecast. I'm Jeff Matthews. If you want the really short version with no details, you can find the quick cast in the same place that you found this. But, this is more detail. So that's the whole point of sticking around, so you can get the double nickels and the pair of eights and the upside down snowmen and all those kind of fun terms. You can get it live, streaming, on Facebook by liking the Weathertainment fan page. Here's a teaser for tonight's trivia question. How does the moon affect our weather? It doesn't. It affects the tides. It reflects light to earth. Or it gives us green cheese. Only Wisconsin residents. Only. No further rain until Friday. Heavy rain coming Saturday. Temps plummet Sunday. Here's temp trend. With some details. Wednesday, Thursday, partly sunny, turning warmer, 50 and 58, take the lunch outdoors, go ahead and argue for the leash, you want to walk the dog with weather like this. Friday, maybe a shower with pretty cloudy skies, Saturday, 60, but rainy and heavy rain, and then the temps plummet Sunday. Here's the satellite view before we put some weather features on it. You can see a spin in the Atlantic, that's the polar front that moved through the backdoor cold front on Sunday night, Monday, that brought us colder weather into early Tuesday. There's a spin here, just east of Hudson Bay, and another one over Tennessee. This one was the backdoor cold front. It's fading away and going away. That high pressure area brought us great weather the last couple of days, but it is now moving out over the Atlantic and fading away. Warm front. That warm front is going to be moving in and bringing us warmer temperatures. And behind the cold front, it does not possess any Arctic air. Why? Because it didn't come from the Arctic. It came from the west coast, as a matter of fact, so behind the front is still relatively mild air, at least to the Rockies. This storm, combined with a new one coming out of Canada, will merge. The Canadian one will drop down some cold air into the belly of this one, and that will bring the radical temperature change Saturday night and Sunday, which will bring us back closer to average for this time of year. But this is Tuesday night's showers. We'll have dry weather for Wednesday and for Thursday. So, as this front had come through Tuesday night, brought us some showers, ring out the atmosphere. But Wednesday behind it, at least partly sunny, and maybe even mostly sunny for Thursday, with temperatures going through the roof. We'll be watching that number each day to see if we get close to a record high. Meanwhile, Tuesday turned out 41.19, that's close to my forecast of 45.18. No change in snow. 10.54, we're getting close to 11 hours of daylight. Support Weathertainment, cnyweathertainment.com partner page. You purchase a pair of sneakers through the site, you wind up sending a few pennies in my direction so that I can actually improve Weathertainment further. The trivia question, the moon, what influence does it have? We can eliminate A. It does have an influence, and the influence, it would be nice to think that's how Wisconsinites get their green cheese, but it's actually B and C. It affects the tides every 12 hours, and it reflects light back to Earth. Speaking of light, the sun. A partly sunny day for Wednesday, high near 50. Take the lunch outside, take the dog for the walk, enjoy. Wednesday night, partly cloudy, maybe some fog overnight, low of 42, that's not cold. Thursday, at least partly sunny, could even be mostly sunny, high of 58. Now we're getting somewhere. Friday it's going to be pretty cloudy with maybe a shower. It will be heavy rain coming for Saturday, and then the temps plummet for Sunday. That is your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast. Whether it's this or this, it's up to you to make it a great day.